All right, YouTubers, diehard cutlery fans, folks searching for knives, quality knives, made in America. If you haven't heard of Topps Knives yet, I'm about to blow your mind. So I'm going to make a couple videos of some different Topps Knives that I've acquired and uh, discuss their features. And the first one I'm going to tell you about is this bad boy right here. This is the Topps Armageddon. Alright, so it's big. It's not as big as machete. It's not a true machete. Uh, but it, you know, it certainly has no problem serving. Serving is one. It's kind of like a, a hybrid of a large camp knife and machete together. You know, and you could consider it the North American equivalent of the machete. Alright. The difference is that uh, machetes are commonly made of thin stock steel. And this is made from one quarter inch carbon steel. And I'll go ahead and move this here so you can kind of get an understanding of how big it is and the thickness. It's got, I mean, this is, it's heavy. You know, if you're a bushcrafter and you want something uh, dual purpose, this might be something you consider. Oh, I can't get this staying thing to stay. There we go. All right, so like I said, it's kind of a hybrid. It's made of a quarter inch uh, carbon steel. You know, you could use it, like I said, for heavier tasks like chopping wood or building shelter, right? Um, I like it for protection purposes too because it is big. Um, it's not too big to handle effectively, um, but it gives you a little bit of extra reach. And, you know, I mean, you got the extra heft for, for chopping. I mean, I'm sure you can imagine defensively how well that would work. Um, you know, if you lack the concept of having a knife and having a, a hatchet or camp axe, you know, really, um, you could probably combine it down into one and just carry this. I mean, it's, it's big enough. Um, I also like the, the you know the blade shape and kind of curves out a little here. I like that. So when you're you know if you are using it for like a machete like purposes, you get a, a good um, contact with the bush you're chopping through. So it's 16 and a half inches overall, overall length, 16 and a half inches. It's 10 and three quarter inches um, for the blade, which is 1095 high carbon steel. And it's got a black traction coating on it. Full tang. Uh, the handles are pretty neat. Now these are black linen micarta handles. Extremely comfortable. And they, you know, the way they're formed, they grip my hand very well. I haven't found a knife uh, that I like the way it feels in my hand better than Topps knives. They're very good with the handles. <clears throat> it comes with. Um, a lanyard attached to it, I'm sure you could, you know, just, you know, a couple feet of paracord on the end. Um, I'm sure you could, you know, eventually put your own on if you wanted. Um, so the manufacturer, Top Snaps, says, you know, for cleaning this handle, Formula 409. And I was like, well, that's pretty interesting, you know, easy to clean. Um, so I like the convenience of that. Um, total weight of this, uh, well, that's total weight with the um, sheath and whatnot. So, to, with the sheath and the knife together, it's 24 ounces. Okay, now here's the sheath. All right, this is ballistic nylon. This is actually really well constructed. This is not cheap um, material at all. The stitching and everything is pretty pretty stout. And this is really, I mean, it's like a, it's like a double thickness. Um, ballistic nylon. What I like about the back here is you have a horizontal and vertical strap, right? So it makes it easy um, to attach, you know, in different manners to different bags and whatnot. So you have the different straps here, All right? And you also have a nice big belt loop if you wanted, and you have. The extra paracord um, that comes with it, and I also when I bought it, I also got this uh, 
survival whistle that came with it free of charge. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, also on this, you have two, I mean the knife is long enough to make a long sheath, so you have actually two uh, pockets here and you could put like, you know, you know, a fire starter in one and a, and a you know, a knife steel in the other to sharpen your, keep your knife sharp or whatever you wanted. So it's just extra, um, you know, cargo uh, carrying capacity if you, if you uh, like such a thing. Um, the actual insert inside the sheath is kydex. So it slides into a kydex sheath insert inside this ballistic nylon. So you're not going to cut the inside of the nylon all up, which I thought was smart. And uh, on these pockets on the side, these are you know expandable, right? So they actually open up farther. But there's a nice elastic web on there that keeps them compressed. So I thought that was good. Um, the one thing I'm not really thrilled about with this sheath, and it's it's pretty minimal. Um, I don't like the Velcro um, here and hold the knife in. I just uh, there's better alternatives, I think. But I haven't had any problems with it. It hasn't fallen out or anything like that. So that's a positive, and there are two of them that hold it in. Um, all right, back to this knife now. So let's turn this around here. So you see it is made in the USA. All right, and you can see the handle, how it, it fits perfectly between the middle and index finger. But it also has another notch right here. So if you want to carefully, of course, climb up on the, on the blade a little bit for a little bit better control, like if you're carving or doing some finer work, you have that ability. And you also have these ribs right here on the spine. So if you needed to control or really push into something, your thumb can you know, rest right there and it doesn't slip at all. I mean, it's, I'm really, you know, pushing into it. My thumb isn't slipping forward. So I think these are the fantastic knives, probably some of the best on the market, especially if you're into survival, bushcrafting, hunting, um, just, you know, being rugged and having a knife that's going to last and something that's made in America too. And that's, what's really appealing to me about this. Um, I like products that are made in America. It's, it's, you know, not the easiest to find them now. With being made in America, the price is going to be a little higher. Um, and this is a really high quality knife, so the price is going to be a little higher. So you, for this version right here, you're probably looking in the, in, in the $200 to $300 range. Um, retail, depending on where you buy it from. Um, but it's, it's a quality knife, and I highly recommend it. So let me go ahead and slide this bad boy into the sheath. And there you go. So, uh, fantastic knife. If you like bigger knives, uh, I highly recommend it. Can't go wrong with this. That is the Topps Armageddon. And I'll be posting more videos of other Topps knives as well. Alright, thanks for watching. Please uh, go to the bottom of the video and click that little symbol that looks like this. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, please share with others. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd greatly appreciate it. You all take care. Stay informed. Be prepared.